What is neurofeedback? It's like a gym for your brain rather than for your muscles. Let's just imagine that I have really weak arms. How can I strengthen them? If I lift weights and pump my muscles over and over again, eventually my arms will get stronger. If you want to strengthen parts of your brain that deal with anxiety or ADHD or racing mind or many other brain issues, your feedback is a good way to do it. One of the few ways you can do it. Instead of pumping muscles, you pump neurons. If I asked you to increase the number of neurons firing over the right temporal lobe, that plays a role in anxiety, if I wanted you to increase that eight to 11 times per second, make those neurons fire more often, could you do that? I don't think so. You can feel your muscles but you can't feel your brain. That's what neurofeedback equipment is for. It measures what your brain is doing and tells you instantly when your brain is doing the right thing and not doing the right thing. Neurofeedback uses games like Pac-Man or a movie that fades out when your brain is not doing the right thing and becomes more clear when your brain is performing better. So how does your brain do that? Have you ever been on a balance board or a balance ball? When you first try it, you often tip over. Eventually, you learn how to balance. But how do you do that? Really, it's your brain that figures it out. You don't really know how you did it. It's not a cognitive process. It just takes practice. Like learning how to be on a balance board, your feedback is not a cognitive process either. You don't think it. You use the feedback to help tell you whether you're doing better. You don't fall over, but instead, the game or the movie doesn't go. Like learning any skill, you get better with practice. You can exercise parts of your brain that play a role in attention, in sleep, in mood, in doing math, or using your memory. Really, in doing anything that allows you to function. Neurofeedback training helps you strengthen those various parts of your brain to perform at their best, or at least better. So how many sessions could you need? Just like training in a gym, you can't predict the number. If you're physically out of shape, you're not gonna be in shape with 10 sessions. It's also true for your brain. It could be hard to predict how long it will take to get in shape because every brain is different. Unlike the gym, you don't have to do brain training forever. Once you've done enough sessions to reinforce more functional brain patterns, your brain tends to learn that newer brain pattern and typically is able to maintain it, although some people may need ongoing maintenance. You can learn more about this and many other aspects of neurofeedback in my book, Neurofeedback 101, available on Amazon.